Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Old Curly Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 24 of my subsistence season 2 Let's Play series. So we lost a little bit of stuff last episode when we died, but that's okay. It's not a worry. Let's just put this stuff in there. Uh, we got some meat we can cook, which is good. We actually need to put more fuel in there. I've got a couple wood on me, so I'll just do that to top it up for a second. And we'll just get some wood from out the front quickly just to fill up the uh, wood fire. So hopefully my audio is now fixed. I really do hope so, because if it's not, I'm going to be pissed. But basically, it turns out Windows had messed with my mic audio. And what it did is it, like, made it muffled, almost. And I don't know how it did it, but hopefully everything is good now. And we won't have to experience that problem. Also, my FPS seems to be better this patch, which is fantastic. It's not staying at consistent 60 all the time, but it's at least being up there instead of hanging around 40, 45. Which I'm not sure why it was doing that. Um, I do know I need a new CPU cooler, and I'm going to try and get one of those today, the day of this recording. And that hopefully that will resolve some of the issues I've been having as well. Because it's been getting really, really, really annoying. But also, uh, forgot to mention last update, there was actually an addition. Claymores. Now we just need one metal ingot, which we should have the materials for. Which is just what, iron and copper. Boom. Alright, now we can put this back, put that there, put that there, and also adhesive was added, which we already know, but it makes five, you get five adhesive per craft, which is a lot better, I thought you got one or two, and I was thinking, oh, that's pretty expensive. Getting five, it's not so bad, although, you know... I don't think there's a ton of deer over on this side of the map, or at least I haven't seen them. Maybe they hang out up there with the cougars as well. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, so we should be able to craft a claymore now. Nice. That's really good. How many arrows have we actually got? Five. Do we have the stuff to make a ton more? Eh, three. Man, we're like basically pretty low on wood as well. Alright, let's see if we can get nails. Oh, I had a metal ingot in there already. Oh, well. Alright, we can make two if we wanted to. Alright, so... Ooh. Ooh, oh, oh, uh... Maybe, like, here or something? Oh, baby. And you don't... Your own traps don't get triggered by you, obviously. Thank God for that. Otherwise, that would be a little bit stupid. In my opinion. Okay, so we should be able to get some arrows now. Good stuff. Let's put the sticks in there. That in there. That in there. The wood. And the rest of the stuff goes in here. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that, that. We'll put the antlers in there as well. Oh, we've got some wood in here, actually, that we can stack in here. Not a ton. We're definitely going to have to get some when we're out. Put the glow stick up here. And we still need to get ourselves a new pickaxe as well. So what's that? Four, 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 two. So... And then we need scrap. Alright, we should be able to make the pickaxe now. Cool. We got that back. We're, we're making up ground. We're getting there. Right, we've got 11 arrows now, so we've got a bit of defense. A health kit on us and stuff. Now we're going to have this pickaxe made. We should be good to get out and have a look around. Now, these hunters could push me at any time. I'd really love to watch the claymore get blown up, though. That would be nice. Uh, let's just do that, I guess. Some nice easy ore right here. Basically, like, 10 metres from the house. Which is always nice. So, 
I played a little bit of co-op lately. With my friend Pile Drive, and I've noticed uh, that ore doesn't even spawn in the same spots for people in co-op, which I kind of wish wasn't the case because I think I think it's a little bit silly that it doesn't. I'm also going to turn the game volume down a little bit more because I can see the game volume keeps peaking. I don't want it peaking. It can get close, but I don't want it actually peaking. And hopefully, like I said, my mic audio is fixed. I notice I'm peaking a tiny bit with my mic, but I'd rather peak a little bit with the mic than peak with the game audio, especially when you're hitting trees like this, because it gets a little bit uh, loud. But I'm going to be working... I'm going to be working on getting a new... Um, a mic soon, and a brand new mic, and I want to get like a an XLR mic, and then a mixer as well. Cost me about three hundred dollars to do so, though, so it's not a, the cheapest purchase in the world. It's not the most expensive because like audio is, especially when you're doing something like this, is one of the most important things. But. I'll have to look into it more, because the mixer I was looking at, and that's kind of, eh. It was a Behringer mixer, but a lot of people said they had issues with it. Like, a lot of noise. And the last thing I want is to go spending all this money on a mic and a mixer, and all of a sudden you hear... Tsh -tsh -tsh the entire time. That would just be fucking stupid. Oh, get a grub. Give us a grub. But yeah, so the ore doesn't spawn in the same spots. There's issues where the animals um, that get killed aren't harvestable by the other people in the server, only by the host. So, me. It's uh, all a little weird. All a little bit weird. I need feathers. Seeing as I've got none, I need to start getting some. So, what do we got? What's the sitch over here? Is there one or two hunters over here? I think there's at least two. I'm coming over here for the crates, by the way. I'm not going to try and disturb them. I don't want to fight them right now. I'm going to at least avoid it as long as I can. Alright, there's another crate up here. Here we go. Is it ammo? Ammo is always good. Give me some more arrows, maybe. Nope. Ah, fuck. I didn't notice the bunny was there, otherwise I would have stopped and shot him in the face. Let's have a look up here. It's actually starting to get towards the twilight. Basically twilight time, so I've got to be careful not to get too far from the base. Man, there's fucking bears and wolves everywhere, dude. Give me that. Stupid animals. Go to hell. Should actually make uh, some cordage when we get back to base because we don't have a ton made up at the moment, but we've got a fair bit of fiber there to make some. I'm actually trying to get a fair bit of scrap metal together as well. I mean, one's okay, but would have preferred more. All right, chicken. When you stop, you get shot by an arrow. This is where you die, chicken. This is your fate. Rip. Ripperoni, indeed. I kind of wish there was a chance that you could get your arrow back as well. Because, like, if you shoot a chicken, I doubt the arrow is going to break into a million pieces. A lot of the time, it probably would be fine. So even if it was like a 10 or 20% chance to get your arrow back when you kill something like that, it would be good. I think that would be more than, uh, you know, acceptable. Maybe not a wolf or a bear, but just a chicken and rabbits. Like, just make it so there's a chance to be able to recover your arrow. I think it would be a good little addition. Alright, so we've made the claymore. We're going to definitely hope that the hunters, if they're going to come raid us, run right into it and get blown the fuck up. I would be so happy. Because there's a chance they could try and raid us tonight. There's actually every chance they could try and raid us tonight. Um, I should 
actually be able to maybe get the animal housing done this episode. I'm not sure. If I can't get it done this episode, it will definitely be done by the next one. Have a look around. So this is a lot of the time where when we play multiplayer, we build our base like right here. Next to the water in the middle of the map, more or less. Right, let's just eat like all of these. Maybe that'll help me enough to get my stam back. I just have to walk for a minute. We've got to start heading back to bases. It's getting on dark. And the last thing I want to do is try and run past all the hunters in the dark, not being able to fucking see them. That would be super duper annoying. Come on. Get your stand back. Holy crap. Sorry, also, if I'm sniffing, I'm getting a bit sick as well, so... Something to be aware of. Any more crates for me on my run back? Maybe? That would be good. Actually, I'm going to be really annoyed because if we find a lockbox tomorrow and that, I'm actually a couple iron short. Although I just, I have iron and that that I can smell when we get back home. I love that, look at this shadow. He just goes completely stiff when he jumps. Animation is real strange. Alright, so I have to basically go up this hill because the hunters, like, they split up here and then across there. So I have to try and run through the middle of them. The more the merrier, right? Cook all this food when I get back to base. Get that good protein going. Oh, what? Did you see that shit just despawn in front of my eyes? That is some bull crap. Is this dickhead following me? Because I can't really afford to sprint right now. Ah, oh, shit. I've gone too far across. Fuck. The hunter's down there. Alright, guys and girls. So I had to go AFK for a minute. And I died because I forgot to pause the game. So that's my stupidity. But I did notice on the run back... Oh, I'm putting in the wrong shit. Uh, iron. That's what I want to be making. Oops. There we go. Alright, uh, let's put this potassium in here for a minute. And some water in there. I did notice there was a lockbox on the way back. So, it's over that way. I'm going to try and get the two pieces of iron I need. I've got everything else I believe. I might be just slightly short on planks, but I can get those right quick. And then I want to run back over there and I want to see if I can snab it. Snab it, nab it, is what I meant to say. Just put this stuff away. So I did lose a couple things also because I died, which is kind of annoying. But we'll, we'll deal. We'll deal with it. Uh, also, I've got to put that away. That back. That in there. The feathers. The glow stick can just go down there. And then we'll just put the ore away as well. There we go. Decent little bit. Alright, so we should have everything else. I do need to generate a little bit of power. So let's just split half of these and then we'll just split them again. Turn that on. Put that back. Uh, what else do I need on my person for this lockpick? I've got everything but the power. Which we should have momentarily. Just got to wait for this one piece of iron to cook up for us. Come on, just one little piece. There we go. Okay, now we just wait for the power to get to full, and we're good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Boom. Then we lose all power to the base. Oh, we got six. That's okay. All right, so hopefully that, that lock chest is still there. Because we kind of really need them at the moment. Hopefully we'll find some really good stuff in it. This, Like, you know, we're 20 plus days in the game. So hopefully 
it gives us some really decent stuff. I keep freaking out when I see that claymore as well. I keep thinking I'm going to run over it and kill myself. Okay, so it should be over this way somewhere. Hopefully I'm able to find it. I'll be pretty disappointed if I can't find it again. Now I'm not sure how lockboxes work, whether they stay there all day or whether they're like normal chests and they kind of just like rotate around throughout the day. Some despawn, some spawn type of thing. But I'm thinking it will still be there. It was over this way somewhere. I don't have an exact location because I don't really exactly remember this, the spot, but I know it was over here. It wasn't too hard to see. Hopefully the hunters don't decide to raid while I'm out here doing this. If they could at least give me five minutes to get this done, I'd really appreciate it. That is a bear right there. Let's just peace out of there. Let's not mess with him. Should be somewhere over here, goddammit. Where is this lockbox? Like I said, I better not have despawned. I'll be pretty pissed. I'm pretty sure I ran around the back of this rock when I was on my way home, even though it was like only just coming on in the morning. Alright, the FPS is also kind of shitty over here for some reason. I'm not sure why. It's like, the, I wonder if it's the hunters causing the FPS issue. Because I think the FPS at the start of a series is always good, and then as it goes on, it gets worse and worse. So maybe the hunter bases affect the FPS. Or something like that. So I'm finding chests in that that weren't there. I mean, I've got a lockpick on me now. I don't really want to risk losing it. I want to kind of just get this lockbox and, and fucking get back to base and put the stuff away before, you know, I get shot in the head or something and die instantly. Then have to run a mile back and then die again. Might have even been up on this hill. This crest here. I'm very unsure. It should be like right around here. Fuck, I'm going to be pissed if I don't find this. Well, we've got the hunters chilling over there, so we don't want to mess with them really if we can avoid it. We do want to dome this... Ah, damn it. I was about to say, we do want to dome this bunny though. So they're hanging out there. It doesn't look like they're going to attack me at the moment at least. At least I hope they're not. Man... I mean, we could go hunting around for, like, a lockbox, but, like, your chances of stumbling upon one and that and actually knowing exactly where it is is slim to none. I'm going to check the recording quickly. All right, well, that didn't help me at all because I wasn't recording till I got back to base. God damn it. So I can't even check the footage and that and be like, oh, it was there, and then go to the exact spot. That sucks. We've got bears hanging out near the base all the time, and it's starting to drive me fucking crazy. Ah, well, I can't say I'm not a little bit mad that I use my iron fragments now, but I guess in the future we find a lockbox and that we've got a lockpick now that we don't have to go and, you know, do again. Fuck! We don't have enough stamina to keep up with this. Stop chasing me. Okay, he doesn't care about me. Why is there a wolf here? I hope that doesn't, I hope they don't trip my claymores. I doubt they do. Because that would really be annoying if the if the wolf tripped the claymore. I guess it's probably set up to not, would be my assumption. Oh man. God damn it. Do I have matches? I should. I do. Split half the wood. That's what I get for not topping it up. Ignite. And then cook all this delicious, delicious meats and eat that because it's going to take more water down but that's okay. Alright, so what's an animal housing worth actually? Animal housing. So we need rope which means we need to kill a cougar which means we need to make a shotgun to really have a chance at that which means we're going to need cloth, plank, scrap metal. Scrap metal. Uh, we need wood for planks and cloth. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to probably come out here and I'm going to have to try and harvest some wood quickly. 
should be able to make a shotgun. We're probably not going to get a chance to, to get the cougars done today. Um, my partner's actually going out today and that, so I have to take care of the kids for the day. So I don't have a lot of recording time left, really. How's this going? Okay. Getting power in, getting power in. Uh... So, shoot gun. Just need one more plank, Areno. Get one more plank. Put that back. Split that in half. Put that in there. Put the ammo away. This, 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 that. Well, split that up. Damn it. Split that in half. Take that. There we go. Bang. Put the lock pick in there. Okay. So let's get the shotgun. How many shells have we got? Three shells. I don't really have a ton of stuff to make more shells either, unfortunately. But that's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. We've got a couple bandages now, so we'll put one in here for safekeeping. As well. And I'm really glad I didn't actually lose my, um... My... Health kit when I died. That would have been pretty disappointing to lose a health kit. Yeah, I want to work on doing this, because I think we've got enough tomatoes to, to, to sustain us. I'm going to eat one right now, actually. Look at that shit, bro. Oh, that chicken should be cooked too. By the way, rabbit and chicken meat cannot burn. It cannot burn. You could leave it in your wood fire for as long as you want and it won't burn. That's just a, a useful little handy thing I've noticed in that. So if you really want to keep stuff like that, you can do that. Uh huh. I'm a little bit annoyed that we lost some arrows though. I think we lost like a good couple arrows at least. Where you going, chicken? I'm not gonna waste a second arrow on you. Then it doesn't end up being a benefit to me. When they um when they stop, jump at them. Like this, and you'll gain a lot of ground. Easier to pick them up. Much, much easier. So that's that's another little handy dandy tip brought here by your neighborhood Phoenix. Speaking of which, I'm actually going to try and get some channel art done soon and that, like in brand new like logo and all that kind of stuff and that. We'll see how we go. That would... Uh, oh, God. I can just have a friend inside, apparently. If we want. <laughs> okay, we're actually doing pretty good on feathers and stuff now, which is real good. Awesome, fantastic. We'll do this, do this, do this. Alright, I was meant to get water in the canteen, and then I think we're going to end off this episode. Hopefully the audio is much better now anyway. I was really disappointed that quite a few videos had that audio messed up, and I modified it every time, listened to it, sounded fine, got it recorded, and it sounded like shit, so... Hopefully that's all fixed now. But anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this subsistence episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more subsistence in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, poise.